All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna um, go up to the school, and you guys need to put your uniforms on, okay? Let's we go. have to wear them? You have to wear a uniform. Why? Because that's uh, one of our rules at the school. I'm not here to go to school. I just thought that was ridiculous, and there's no point of me even going. Beautiful, Stephanie. Uh, I look weird. Uh, and it gives you, like, major wedgies, like, no joke. It's uh, so uncomfortable. All right, so let's, uh, let's load up. the road. We in this. Matt and Stephanie, welcome to Harvard's Community School. This is what we do. <laughs> hey, guys. We wanted them to see, you know, the difference in the kids that really have a high standard of excellence in academics. So I want you to read the road not taken, interpret it according to how you would use this poem in your life. I sat in the back of the class um, while it was going because I wanted to see firsthand their reaction to the different teachings that were going on. I hate having to learn, having to pay attention. I really could care less. The two choices metaphorically represent. Stephanie was um, just twirling her rubber bands in her hand and just kind of didn't want to be there. Looked real bored. I was kind of concerned about that. Didn't, look, didn't seem like she was, you know, paying attention. Yes, Matt. Uh, I think you can still be successful on the wide road. It depends on what you're measuring your success by. If you're choosing the wide road, there may be a difference in the way you obtain those things. I was really happy to see Matt come in and, and really just participate in what was going on. Do y'all have any questions? No. Thank you, y'all have a great weekend. Yeah, they are. Did you learn anything? Um, no. <laughs> After we got done with the English class, we immediately did an interview with them to talk about what we've learned and um, how we can get better in our lives. Before you came, we asked that your school sent us your transcript so we could look over those grades because we always do that with every student that comes in. Wow, what the hell, you freaking stalker. I see right now that your GPA is like currently a 1.83. You won't even get into college at 1.83. You have to have um, a 2.5 or higher um, for any college to even consider you. At this point, she really needs to get serious about her academics or her future is going to be minimal. Why do you think you're just doing average in school? I tried studying once and it didn't work out. Your academic success is your future. If you don't get serious about this, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to get into college. And do you want that to happen? She's not my mom. She doesn't really know me. It's kind of like, shut the hell up. Knowing you were going to come in, we wanted to, we basically called your school because I wanted to see your transcript. Your cumulative GPA is a 1.6. Can't go to college on this. GPAs are just a number. I don't really care. Why are your grades so poor? Just like homework, you know? Like, I feel like once you're done with school, that should be it, like. So you don't do anything when you get home? When I was interviewing Matt, I was a little worried that he didn't have the mindset of really putting forth the effort in his academics like we would have in our family. What are you going to do? You can't go to college on this. I thought bringing Matt and Stephanie to the school would be a great experience for them to see that changes to take place now, not later.